Hello, welcome so much to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing this video. My name is Billy Joe, and this pick a card reading is how do they feel about you? Their true feelings. We're going to reveal their heart um, quite possibly. I know there's lots of people who are in relationships or divine connections, and one or the other usually isn't good at expressing an emotion. So let's go ahead and look and see how they feel about you, whether this is your ex, a current love, uh, crush, romantic interest, however it resonates for you. Remember to only take the messages that resonate and throw out the rest. Um, the three piles I have for you, pile one is the Affirmator's Tarot with this uh, pyrite. Pile two is um, the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot with this Chevron Amethyst. And pile three is the trip and weight tro with the beautiful smoky quartz. And if you need more time, you can always pause the video. Timestamps are down in the description box, as well as how to reach out to me for your own personal reading. Um, my personal readings are now a week out, so do be cautious of that when you do book a reading. Thank you so much. I will meet you at your timestamp. Hello, if you chose pile number one, thank you so much for joining me today with this beautiful pyrite. So, this is your reading. We're going to look and see how your person feels about you. Let's reveal the truth of what's really in their heart. one's person feel for them. How does person, pile number one's person feel for them? We have the six of swords. The Four of Pentacles and the Justice card, which is Libra energy. Doesn't mean they have Libra in their chart, they quite possibly could. Split the deck is the Nine of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. I know I'm being <laughs> contrary today, you know. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone who, um, quite possibly, they're single. They try to be independent, um, especially next to the Three of Wands that was on the bottom of the deck. This tells me that quite possibly um, trying to get their ducks in a row uh, more, someone who's more focused on their future endeavors of where things may go in the future, um, trying to build up for um, their personal business, their career, maybe they are uh, building up their career, maybe they're in college to go on to their career path, and they are working towards their future. And this is over the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, so this is someone who, um, they're single, but they do hope to have a good, romantic, long-lasting love life sometime in the future. They do hope for that. And the Three of Wands is over the Two of Wands. So, you know, they're looking towards the future. Oh, hello, Nix. Just let me get my kitty. Okay. They, this person has high hopes. We have a Six of Swords. They know things are getting better, but with the Four of Pentacles, they're kind of hoarding themselves right now. It's like they're, they're not wanting it right now. They hope for these things in the future. So right now, they're just kind of building themselves up. 
for the right time, the justice card. Um, trying to make sure they're, uh, they're ready, they're balanced, they're secure for those that future endeavor of having that wonderful, beautiful love life. Now that we looked into your person, let's see how this person feels about you in particular. If that doesn't resonate where your person is right now, this may not be your pile. So they're more focused on their future. But how do they feel about you? in particular. How do they feel about you, Pile 1? Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Chariot in Reverse. The Eleven of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. And the High Priestess. So, your person feels like um, you're someone they could have victory with, someone that they, you know, is a bright possibility, definitely. The Six of Wands is over the Four of Cups. Um, the Four of Cups here, um, they're not seeing that opportunity able to be happening right now. Four of Cups is often sometimes someone who doesn't see the blessings that's being handed to them at the time. So even though you may feel like right now is a good time, your person's not seeing that as a good time. Um, they just don't see the timing as being right now. And we do have the chariot in reverse. So the chariot talks about forward motion. And with it being in reverse, um, again, I just don't think this person feels like right now is the right time. And with the eleven swords, the page of swords, um, I really feel like right now they would be more inclined to just communicate with you, possibly build up that friendship. Um, they may watch your social media as well. Um, with the high priestess here, they're keeping their emotions, their feelings to themselves. They don't want to give you false hope. How does that person feel about them right now? How do they truly feel? And my cards are flying into the floor now. How do they truly feel? We have five of mind games, the seven of stability, the seven of mind games, and soulmates. bottom of the deck is eight of mind gate games so so your person of course with this being on the bottom of the gate bottom of the deck um i just i really feel like they're just they're not letting you in right now especially with this covering the ten of emotions ten of cups they're not revealing themselves. They're not letting you in right now. It feels like you're hitting a brick wall. You may feel like, um, th well, this person is conflicted when it comes to their emotions. I feel like quite possibly because this is over the Ten of Cups, they do have romantic feelings for you, but 
again with the timing not being right for them they don't feel like it's right they don't you know it's kind of a confliction you know should i let them in should i not we do have the soulmates card here they do feel like there is some type of connection with you but they're not ready to let you in they want to make sure they're in a good place emotionally and not only emotionally but um financially you know they just don't I really feel like if they let you in now, they feel like since they're not ready, it's just going to lead to a downfall, that nothing's going to happen. It's not, they want to make sure they're doing everything right. Um, it's kind of like that feeling like when couples rush into a relationship or they get involved too young. You know, you hear of couples who get married too young. Sometimes they make it. It's for a life, lifetime. But sometimes when you get married too young and you haven't had a time to mature in your own personal relationship with yourself and what you want in your future, then it leads to divorce, unhappiness, fights, and they're trying quite possibly, I feel like, maybe your person for a lot of you may resonate that your person may become from a household of divorce or um, a single parent household and or they've seen their share of people separating, divorcing, and they don't want that type of relationship. They want to make sure that whoever they end up with, it's a relationship to last for the rest of their life. Um, so they want to take their time. They want to make sure it's done right. And they want to make sure that they are mature and ready for a true commitment, true lasting relationship. How does your person feel about you? Pile number one. We have isolated. I'm so lonely, but I just want to be left alone. They're not ready for a relationship right now. We have contemplating. I have so much going on inside. I don't know what to do. There's that inner conflict again. Soul cleanse. I've been purifying my mind and soul and unconditional. Thank you for showing me what true love is. That's probably what that, you know, you had soulmates here. There's the Ten of Cups has been in here. They know this is something monumental between you, but they're just not ready. They have a lot of healing to do. You know, I'm hearing from Spirit to remind you that slow and steady wins the race. You don't want to rush into something that's going to, you know, you don't want to damage something that has the potential of being a life partner, a, a, the love of a lifetime. You know, let, let things flow and evolve naturally. And let them miss you. Let them miss you. Don't constantly check up on them or something. You know, sometimes they need to be reminded that your love, you know, although it's unconditional, it's still not meant to be taken advantage of. They can't just put you on a back burner. So let them miss you. How do they feel about you? So at number 35, would you say yes, insecurity? And number 36, denial, I keep telling myself it's not over. So what I'm hearing is, oh, bottom of the deck is I just want loyal companion, companionship, number 10, completion. Um, so what I'm hearing is, you know, of course they have those insecurities. Um, quite possibly they've seen too many people disconnect and separate when it was rushed into they don't feel like the time is right i feel like that's why they're telling yourself it's not over you know they know that there's something significant in this connection but they're just not ready for it it's not that they don't want you they don't want it to lead to where you know you end up hating each other or you know you're not ready and rushing into it can lead to you know not a very good place so I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for watching pile number one. I'm going to get moved on to those that chose pile option number two.
Hello, pile number two. So you chose the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck and the Chevron Amethyst. This is your pile. So we're going to look and see how your person feels about you. is inside of pile number two's person's heart. What do they feel? We have the five of potions. It's like the five of cups. The five of needles. Five of swords. And the eleven of potions. That is like the ten, the, oh, I'm sorry, the page of cups. Splitting the deck, we have the Sun card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Needles. Okay. So the Sun card is over the Three of Potions, which is the Three of Cups. So you and your person, it looks like they're very happy with you. They've built up a friendship between the two of you that pleases them very well. Um... They may see you as part of their tribe, their coven, their soul family. Their, their, you know, you connect on such a deep level and understand each other probably better than even some family members do. You have a true understanding of each other, and and you light, you light each other's path up. We do have the Ten of Needles. This is over the Death card. Um, death has to do with transition, um, changing from one state to the other, um, quite possibly started as friends, a strong friendship. Maybe you've known each other for a long time and built this connection up. And I'm going to sense like they really know like it's time to really step up, to transition from one level to the next. Maybe you're friends for some of you and y'all are both realizing you have romantic love towards each other and wanting to change it from friends to lovers or quite possibly you're dating and it's time to get more serious and have a committed relationship or you've been in a relationship and it's time to move to the next level. Um, whatever you resonate with take it as that however in this transition they know it's time um and they've had a lot of anxiety about it a lot of um how's it gonna work you know they've probably been stabbed in the back before when it comes to romance and love they've gone it seems like they've gone through a lot of hell in their life quite possibly um their reputation's been ruined. They've had people gossip about them, say things about them. You know, I'm hearing, you know, I would love to be in a relationship with you, but why would you want to be in a relationship with me? However, all this anxiety and stress is coming to an end. It is the 10, um, the 10 of needles, which is the 10 of swords. And they're about ready to make this change. They know it's time. They're, they're right there at the gate to end one uh, cycle and begin the next when it comes to being with you. Um, we do have the five of potions, five of cups. Again, it leads me to believe that, you know, they've went through their share of spilt cups, you know, but as they look at these three cups in the past, you know, these intimate, very important relationships they've had in the past that wasn't meant to be. But then here you are with the two of cups. You fit together nicely. You are a soulmate level because it does have the two together. Your soulmate connection, your soulmate, uh, a divine countership connection. Um, countership. Why did I say that word? Connection. Sorry. <laughs> um, and possibly in the past, they've had people they felt was their soulmate in the past. And it didn't work. So they've had a lot of anxiety they've had to work through when, you know, with that tin of needles. Where, okay, I know I felt other people or another person was a soulmate and it didn't work. And 
it just led to a lot of regret. So hopefully, I'm really stressed and really anxious and really hoping that this is a true soulmate. And, you know, they're having to realize what they have now. Five of needles. This is, you know, they've got a lot of inner conflict and turmoil that they've had, they've had to go through. They quite possibly are in a predicament at the time uh, where they are surrounded by people who um, aren't in their best interest, so to speak. Um, but with this page of cups, the eleven of potions, again, these two cups here, soulmate energy, um, they're realizing that they actually do have romantic feelings for you. They love you so much. And they're ready to let you know this. They're ready to give you that message of true unconditional love. Let's get some more cards here. So how does your person feel about you? person feel about them. What are these romantic feelings that they're having for pile two? Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords and the Thirteen of Wands, which is the Queen of Wands. <sighs> so with the Six of Six of Wands, of course, that is a victory card. It's over the Thirteen of Cups, which is the Queen of Cups. So, I mean, they feel happy and in love. And they're in love with you. They're realizing this is the love of a lifetime. That they're really going to have victory with you. You know, they've given up on having victory with anyone. They've had a lot of lies and deceits. And then, of course, there is that worry that what if you are a snake in the grass? What if you really are deceiving them? Um, and with... The Queen of Wands, 13 of Wands, of course, lots of times the Queen of Wands, she's very beautiful. She's magnetic. She's, you know, outgoing and sexually vibrant. Um, so your person may have some fears that maybe you're interested in other people. Maybe there's something you may not be telling the truth about or keeping from them. Um... But Seven of Swords doesn't always have to do with deceit. Um, doesn't mean they think that you are deceiving them. It just, um, I'm hearing they're wanting to be cautious with their heart. Um, but what I'm hearing is, I, I, what I'm hearing is your person feels like you stole their heart. Is what I'm actually hearing. You stole their heart. You know, and you have successfully it's like you went in and you have the victory because you went in and stole their heart and with this loving beautiful energy you have you're beautiful you're charming you are um they think you're perfect and it just kind of you snuck up on them with these these feelings they didn't expect to actually get such strong feelings with you. How does Pal 2 feel about this?
bottom of the deck is four of mind games says a relationship that is healing so this is a healing connection it is over the three of passions with the three of wands you may be at a distance with each other maybe a long distance relationship maybe um, there is uh, blocks between the two of you we have the six of emotions the chariot the death card again and princess of stability so I mean this person if you haven't seen each other in a while and um, they really want reunion with you and they recognize this as a deep soulmate connection quite possibly twin flames and they want to move this relationship forward um, they do see you as divine counterparts and again with this death card again I do get the sense that they are ready to move this relationship forward into the next level um, your person does probably the person that keeps you grounded and they recognize this um, and you also as well you may not realize you keep them grounded too you are each other's rock um, and they're just ready to manifest this next level with you I'm here and beyond ready they want all the barriers to be removed between you and them how does your person feel about you okay we have determined determined I'm fighting so hard to become a better man or woman inner demon demons nobody understands the darkness inside of me and betrayal I'm sorry for turning my back the times you needed me most so quite possibly this may be a connection I'm not getting they betrayed you or turned their back on you quite possibly for a lot of you what I'm actually getting is there may be times you've text or called they didn't answer right away kind of they know that um, your connection is very important to you and they value this connection as well and there's times that they've had to kind of step back in get some space from you and be time there's time they need to themselves um, because they do fight their own inner inner demons they do have healing that they're going through just as well as you do and it's during those times that maybe they didn't text back right away maybe you didn't hear from them for a day or two and some of you maybe even a week but it's not because they were ghosting you it's not that they didn't want to talk to you they just needed some time out for themselves and that's because they are working on their healing they are trying to be a better person Pull another one more card here. I do, I do hear that they do. They are sorry that there's been any kind of misunderstandings during the times that they haven't spoken to you, or where the connection had been in, in separation or no contact. I don't feel like there's ever been a time that you were in no contact for any long state of mind with this pile. Um, but for the times that they weren't able to, they do feel bad about that. Bottom of the deck, we have number 39, Destiny. I want forever with you. We have number 10, Completion. I just want loyal companionship. Number 9, Truth. I swear it's true. Number 15, Confusion. We have grown. And number 43, Jealousy. I've been watching you. So, um, I'm getting from this one, you have grown together, you are each other's stability and security, each other's backbone, um, but there are times where you both get jealous of each other, um, <clears throat> and maybe just, I'm not really sensing really total jealousy, I think it's more of a... Um, uh, trying to watch out for each other, you may keep an eye on each other's social media, um, what not just to stay in touch but this is true love between the two of you so i i hope you enjoyed this i hope it resonated thank you so much for watching have a beautiful wonderful day namaste
Hello, pile number three. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. If you chose the <clears throat> sorry, Smoky Quartz with the Trip and Weight Tarot, this is for reading. We're going to look and see how does your person feel about you. Remember, only take the parts of the message that resonate with you and throw out the rest. We never force it to fit. How three's person feel about them? We have the star, the ace of swords, and the ten of pentacles. Split the deck. We have the nine of cups. bottom of the deck we have the four of wands okay <laughs> wow this is probably the best out of all three piles your person um you're their dream come true they wish to have this future with you um the four of pentacles talks about long-term commitment um union marriage um is their dream to have this with you um it's also considered an 1111 card. Um, you have a great spread here. So the nine of cups over the chariot. So this is their wish to move forward with you. It is their greatest desire to move forward with you um, towards marriage. And so the tower, you know, is forced to change. So they're wanting to change this connection from where it is to, look, and then you have the full card, to taking the leap of faith. So tower's not always a bad sign, especially when the rest of the cards are really good. You know, this is just a forced change. Um, if you are just dating, they want to get married, maybe propose. For some of you, not all of you, so don't all get all super excited. For some of you, that's a proposal. Um, for most of you, I do see this is going to be a long-term, happy, fulfilling, successful relationship. Because it leads to the Ten of Pentacles. This is the happily ever after, abundant card, you're abundant, building that future together. You know, the love, the life, the commitment, the loyalty, the growing old together, having kids and grandkids, the whole nine yards, the kit and caboodle, everything. Um, the star card, this is their wish. This is what they want. You have two wish cards. You have the nine of cups and the star. You have the chariot for moving forward. You have the four of wands for marriage and commitment, force change, full card for taking that leap of faith, the Ace of Swords. So this is the new beginnings. But this is communication. They're probably wanting to have communication with you soon about moving your connection forward. About being more committed. About that you, for many of you I'm hearing you're probably going to get an actual proposal soon. Let's look into this some more. This is like wowzer. Like whoop whoop whoop. If y'all get a commitment y'all tell me about it. This is going to be amazing. So how does your person feel about you? Pile two, I mean, pile three, I'm sorry. How does your person feel about you, pile three? How does pile three's person feel about them? How does Paul 3's person feel about them? Bottom of the deck, we have the 13 of Pentacles. That would be the Queen of Pentacles. This is over the Magician. So, we have... The 14 of Swords is the King of Swords. And this was in reverse, so let me put it correctly. King of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. 
the nine of wands in reverse and the ace of wands okay wow so they want to uh, definitely they want to create this future with you they want to wife you up or husband you up however it resonates with you um with the king of swords in reverse um king of swords is someone who king of swords is often someone who is um demanding um authoritative um like they want a future with you but they don't want to demand that of you they want to be able to work things out between the two of you you know with the five of swords in reverse this tells me they want to work things together with you where it works fluid and natural um the hermit card so they want to do this together they want to be able to build this with you not for you or for themselves but for each other for both of you to work on it together um they want your input just as much as they want their own input in it we have the um nine of wands in reverse they want to make sure that's going to last forever by making sure that y'all work together extremely well ace of wands um whatever you're passionate about whatever they're passionate about they want to make sure that it it flows naturally and together um that y'all both put the work into manifesting these dreams that it's not just one-sided they want to make sure that that both of you reciprocate the the desires um, of building a future together creating something new together new beginnings in action how does pile three's person feel about them How this person feel about them? Bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Oops. Okay, we have twin rays, ace of emotions, six of mind games, and Princess of Mind Games in reverse. Okay. So definitely, um, especially with the Temperance card on the bottom and Twin Twin Rays, this is definitely a divine countership. That is not all divine counterships uh, counterparts have a romantic interest invested in their connection but i feel like this one does and it, it's been it takes time to make it flow well and you've probably been with this person for a very long time um temperance card is over prince of stability yes very realistic very practical um put the you both put the work into this connection um both been working on your healing and this connection just led to this overflowing sense of purpose and happiness um really wanting to strengthen this new beginning with it both of you you've both worked really hard to overcome the challenges and the obstacles and the mountains that get in divine counterships there's always mountains to get over right and you've both worked hard to do this so you have the princess of mind games which would be like the page of swords and it's in reverse um lots of times it talks about watching each other spying on each other's social media things like this but with it reverse i'm just hearing that there's a lot of trust in this connection they feel like they can trust you you feel like you can trust them if not this is not your pile because this is a very loving pile here 
there's a lot of love and commitment and desire for being together forever kind of feeling. I mean, I would love it if this was my pile. Of course, I, before I started shuffling and recording, I chose pile two. <laughs> so, this was not my pile, but I would have loved it if it was. How does your person feel about you? Okay. So you, you had the gossip come out in reverse. So I'm ashamed of what I've said, gossip. Um, I'm just feeling like this is telling me that y'all haven't really had any... Um, I'm hearing you have the type of connection, type of relationship other people always look for fading it feels like i'm slowly losing you oh i feel like that's just some insecurities that's coming up we have confusion what am i running from um so <laughs> i think they just kind of look and see wow um i feel like they're looking to see when it's going to be the right time to tell you how that they want to spend the rest of their lives with you is it too early have we waited long enough have we put enough work into this um do they really feel the same way i do these are the things i'm getting well we have nurturer i want you to take care of my needs and i think they want to take care of you um bottom of the deck was stripping down masculine beliefs so you made them see things from different perspectives you um have nurtured them and they've nurtured you and i think there's a little bit of insecurity here <laughs> but um it, overall there's a lot of trust there's definitely a lot of love in this connection this person really does absolutely adore love and admire you we have number five, emotional changes. Dive into the depths with me. Number 22 on the bottom, unbridled. Your spirit sets me free. So, yes, this person definitely loves you, Pile 3. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it resonated. Many blessings. Namaste. hello thank you so much for sticking it out to the end of the the reading um if you have that lets me know that you have wanted to see which decks i used in my reading so there's a link down in the description box um if you want to purchase any of the readings that's uh the cards that's available on amazon you can use that there's also um, in the description box if there's personal readers that i use their decks their information is down there as well so i'm going to start off with the decks that i used you can get through amazon for pile one i use the affirmators tro it's a beautiful deck it's all these cute little images on there it has this kind of little box with the little booklet here Pile one. Pile two is with the Disney's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck. Comes with this little booklet here. This is the back of the deck. Has these kind of images. All three it was with the tripping weight tarot now this deck I ordered online and um, it's really cute it doesn't come with a booklet but I love the psychedelic colors it 
Now this, I did not get this one off of Amazon, so I did order this offline. You can Google it, Trip and Weight Tarot. That was pile three. So this deck is an indie deck I got off of Etsy. I forgot the name of it or I would definitely tell you. It came in this cute little bag. It says, I can't tell what it says. Anyways. From um, Rachel with Angelic Revelation 144. I used her Flames of Love and Passion Tarot deck. She makes some of the best decks. I love her decks that she's used. She uses great imagery. From Bridget Rowe of Divine Essentials, I used her Masculine's Madness deck. And I also used from Bridget Rowe's deck the Journey of Love Union deck. Okay, those are the decks I used in this reading. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.